Welcome back. My name is Levi from Creekside Interactive or Paper Playing on Discord. And today we're going to go ahead and take care of the oceanology. There's a little bit we have to do to set it up with this particular texture. Uh, just because it does not have an RVT output, uh, we can actually go ahead and kind of cheat that a little bit. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with the oceanology fresh. So we're going to get rid of the oceanology that we have. Because if you, if you remember, we added a whole bunch of uh, water Z max and water Z min negative so that we can see the water without all the foam everywhere. And I'm not going to go ahead and reset that. I'm just going to go ahead and reset the whole thing. So the first thing we do is just shift and right click on the location so we can get the location data. So when we add a new one, we don't have to guesstimate it. We can put it exactly where it is right now. And then we can go ahead and grab the oceanology and delete it. And we can go into our content drawer and go ahead and find a new one. So if we go into plugins and hopefully I can find it. It is very elusive. There it is. We'll go to design, ocean, blueprints, ocean. And then we're gonna use the ocean infinite ocean again. Go ahead and drag that, doesn't matter where it's at. And then here you can shift left click to paste the values that we took from the other one. And now we're basically back exactly where we were. So you can see our uh, beach line is pretty much exactly the same which is perfect, but we do have all of the foam everywhere, which we're going to go ahead and take out right now. And getting rid of the foam is very easy in the new Oceanology. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do to cheat this, since we don't have an RVT output in this particular uh, landscape texture, it won't work right out of the box. But all we have to do is go into our landscape texture, which is MI Basic Landscapes, and it's this one right here. And we're just going to reset that back to nothing so that we have no texture on the landscape at all. Just like so. Now we can go ahead and go up to the quickly add to project, go down to the all classes and start typing in manager. And in my case, the second one to the bottom is oceanology manager. We're going to go ahead and drag that out into the world because that is what is going to set the RVT for the ocean uh, foam system. Now that we have that set up, uh, let's go ahead to the landscape really quickly. And you can see down here, if we scroll down a bit, you're going to find the virtual texture, draw in virtual textures. Currently, we have none. When we use the Oceanology Manager, which we're back on now, the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab. Uh, you can So the pick from actor will work if you're not using a world partition. So right now, if we use the pick from actor, you'll see that, you'll see that we're going to get like a streaming proxy. And we actually want the landscape as a whole. Uh, if you didn't use World Partition, then you could use the eyedropper, no problem. But for us, we're just going to drop it down and then go to the main landscape here so that we get the landscape as a whole. And once we do that, we can set bounds. And if I push G, because I was in game, so you couldn't see anything, you can see our RVT bounds right now. And we want to make sure if we hide the oceanology, you can see that the bounds are set exactly to the X and Y dimensions and to the Z dimensions as well. So it'll cap off right exactly at the top of our mountain, which is exactly what we want. And we can go ahead and turn our water back on. And now that we have that set up and we don't have a texture on, we can go ahead and start setting up the next one. So if we have the landscape set the way that we want, we can go down here into our height map settings. We're actually going to go to 2048 on this. Uh, you really don't need that much. 1024 is fine. Um, once I start getting into the higher numbers, though, you will see either a very a lot of lag or depending on your system, it may actually crash Unreal, uh, depending on how much RAM you have. So for me, 2048 is the one I like to use. Uh, we already set up our landscape ground mesh, I do believe. And once we do that, we should have added. Oh, we haven't done that yet. OK, perfect. So if we go back to our Oceanology Manager. So the first thing on the list is set up landscape ground mesh. That's going to add the RVT to the landscape. So now if we go back to the landscape and we go into our RVT stack, you will see that we have a new RVT. Now, if you had a material on the landscape that doesn't have an RVT output, it will just be black. You won't see anything here. So since we took that away, it's just using the default and we have the RVT right there. And another big one to make sure if you do this and it's not working at all, uh, you might want to have to go to your settings, go to your project settings, and you're going to scroll down to where it says rendering. 
right here. And you'll scroll down to where you have the virtual textures and make sure that you have enable virtual texture support. Uh, because once you open up a new project, this is generally off. You want to tick that and you will have to restart. And then you'll be right back in your project and you'll be where we are. So this is perfect. So right now we're going to go back to our Oceanology Manager. And we have most of it done already. So the landscape ground mesh is already set. We have the RVT there. Now we're going to actually save the height map. So we're going to choose uh, which folder we want to save it in. Generally, I put all of my levels in their own folders. And ours right now is currently in maps. And I put whichever uh, height map that I'm saving, I put it with each one of the levels so I know which one, the one it is. For right now, this is fine. We'll go ahead and hit save. And that will generate our height map, which we can actually open up and take a look at. So this gives you the height map data around uh, where the foam will interact and also where you can cut out the land inside. So let's go ahead and get off of that one. And the last two is just to set up the water. And then we will set the water min max. That will actually change the minimum maximum values here in that we were setting earlier to get rid of the foam to the proper values on the Z to make sure that the foam is only interacting where it should be, which is right along the edge here, just like it should be. And we can actually change some of the parameters. So if you want a little bit more foam, say this is not quite enough, or you want a little bit less, we can use the depth for DF foam to increase it a bit or even decrease it a bit, depending on how you want it to be. I'm actually going to bring it up a little bit. And another really cool one, since we have the RVT set, it actually knows how deep the water is. So in an area like this, we can start using our depth for still shores. And what that will do is, depending on what the depth is, right now we're at 128 centimeters, it will make the water become uh, flat instead of wavy. So if we actually increase that a bit, you will see that closer to the land, the water is going to get smoother. And further away, you're going to get back to your regular ocean. And that way you just get a little bit more smoothness. It, it really depends on what kind of game you're running or what you want to do. And in the future, they're going to have some really cool other things that are going to kind of make that one uh, not as cool anymore. But for now, it works really well. So now that we have all that set up, all we have to do now is just go ahead and add our landscape texture back on. So I'm going to hit G so I don't see all those boxes. And we're going to grab our landscape and then we're going to go back to the landscape that we had. So in our landscape material, we'll open that up and we'll go ahead and search. Uh, this was basic landscape. And this one was this one here on the bottom for me. And we'll go ahead and turn that back on. And now we have our landscape set up with the textures that we want. And we also have all of our foam in where we want it to be. And once again, if you see that there's just a little bit too much foam, it's not looking the way you want, you can go back into your depth and bring that back down. Or if you want more waves on the beach, you can always uh, get your depth for still shore and go ahead and pull that all the way up however you want it. Uh, another thing we can do with this is if we go underneath the land, so currently right now, if we build anything below this level, we're going to have ocean because the ocean is completely encompassing inside the land. You can actually see the edge where the, uh, the foam ends. Uh, we can actually get rid of that as well. So if we go down just a little bit more, you see this one here called mask and then we have mask and then we have the landscape visibility mask. We can actually bring that down to zero. And now we don't have anything in this area. We do have the underwater visibility uh, that is taken care of in a little bit different uh, way. Um, I'm not sure if we'll go through that in this tutorial because I really don't plan on actually doing anything below the water line, so it's not a huge deal. We can go ahead and put that one to zero too, just to make sure everything's off. But you can see that now if you go inside, there won't be anything. So that works perfectly and we have our foam around everything exactly the way we want. Another one that I'm not liking right now is uh, quite often the, for me, the wetness is always a little bit uh, too long, a little bit too high for these, these beach size. Um, and it just kind of stretches out a little bit too far for me. So you can always click on that one and we can find our shoreline wetness here. You can actually disable wetness if you want completely. 
And the way this one works, so we have all of these parameters here. You can actually change the wetness material itself as well. I wouldn't uh, because every time you update, it's going to reset that anyway. So I would just play with these ones here unless you don't plan on resetting and you do want to do some custom stuff. But for right now, you can actually change your radius on everything, which will bring it down a little bit more, which is more what I would do, just so it's not quite so harsh. I might even bring down the blend opacity a bit because I just want it to be very subtle and just make the sand when we put it there just ever so slightly wet, not too moist. So that actually sets everything up for the rocks. If you look around, we have all of the foam all the way around on everything. It's working just fine. And you can add more foam if you would like as well just like I had mentioned earlier. And we also have our nice uh, wetness fall off. So that works perfectly. So uh, right now we're actually going to skip on to the next video. In the next video, we're gonna actually start texturing out the landscape and getting that the way that we want that to be. And from there, we'll move on to biomes and stuff like that. So I definitely wanted to get this one done right now. Uh, look for the next video. It'll probably be a day or two before that one comes out. But uh, it, everything's already in queue, so as soon as you hear this one, the other one's already ready to go. It'll just be a couple days before it uh, releases. So uh, with that, I'm going to leave you guys on this one, and I'll see you on the next one.